Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Iker with the Funky High Vibes doing a review and walkthrough of the True Black Tarot. Um, I've already kind of looked through this deck myself because I have been so excited and it's been, at least for me, the most anticipated tarot deck I've ever like owned. <laughs> and honestly, it is truly beautiful. It is truly tarogasmic. <laughs> and we're going to do a review and walk through of it. So this is the box that it comes in and it's probably the most luxurious tarot deck I have ever seen. So the true black, all rights reserved in the back down here. And the box is mainly matte, a matte finish, but there's this shine to it. This, it's embossed, it is embossed and it has this, this UV coat on it that just shines so beautifully and it's a magnetic box so it just opens and closes and inside here can you guys read it it says it is only in darkness that we see the stars i love that and it's so brilliant too because the tarot usually helps us see things that are hidden right things that are kind of like hidden in our subconscious so it's what we go for this is the book that it comes in Still has that matte finish with the embossed UV gloss. Back, really simple. It has a, it's actually for a um, little white book or <laughs> the little black book in this case. It's pretty meaty. It's pretty thick. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, and you get about two pages for the major arcana of each thing. And then you get about one page for the minor arcanas. For each card, I mean. <laughs> Then you have a little a little symbol of what the deck looks like. Keywords on top here. So four of cups would be if withdrawn, passive, introspective, hidden. Then you have what it means. Uh, same for the major arcana. You have the keywords, the meaning, and then additional artwork is just the artist explaining the meaning behind the artistry and what he created with it. So really beautiful book, uh, little, really a minor introduction, but that's pretty awesome just to kind of give you an overview of everything, and then it jumps right into it. Uh, this deck does come with a 79th card. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> give me a second. Okay. And it is the Anant. And I'll read it for you guys, even though we haven't quite seen it yet, but... <laughs> Uh, I'll show it, I'll uh, read it for you. And it says, endless, infinite, exempt, and cyclical. Anant refers to the never-ending, eternal, and exempt. While all others, temporal beings, enter existence, grow, and then die, Anant exists outside of these constraints and rules. It has been and always will be a core concept shared by other world religions. And it goes on to explain it a little bit more, but that's the, kind of like the gist of the 79th card, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So let's go for the cards themselves. <laughs> let's move things around here. Okay, so here is the true. All right, you, just, you guys just caught a sneak peek of the Anant card. <laughs> so this is the true Black Tarot, finely crafted artifacts. <laughs> this is just the, the name card and just really beautiful. I can't even toss it or anything. It would just be maybe like a a protective layer for my deck or maybe I'll just use it as like a bookmark which I usually do for the other ones anyway so this is just the name card we have the fool I love this butterfly on the forehead almost like a new idea a new beginning and then you have these vortexes can you guys see it looks like wings behind the, this little child it's so beautiful. So the major arcana are all pretty much like this. They have just a beautiful artwork. And I love this little light that comes down in the middle, almost like a spotlight kind of thing. Um, and they have this, all the names are like this. They're, uh, they are UV coded. All the names are like that, all the titles. And the major arcana always have a different design, UV coded design on it. And then look, it's edged black so really the true black tarot <laughs> to its name for sure so we got the fool the magician and you see like on top here how um he's got 
almost like the cosmos on top of the card. The High Priestess. This is absolutely gorgeous. She's sitting on the crescent moon. She's got the pomegranate on her hand. She's got a, almost like a pendulum crystal on the other hand and a key on her, on her neck. That's so stunning. <laughs> the Empress. So all the people here are actually pretty gorgeous. <laughs> you got the Emperor. Look at the geometric shapes. It's so cool. The Hierophant. I love this lover's card because they're attached by this red string and look how long this red string is. It's like they've been connected and through many, many lifetimes and always kind of end up finding each other. <laughs> chariot with do you see the the gloss down here the moon and the constellation God. I love absolutely love the strength card see there's like a, a sword down here in the UV it's like all these spears and axes in the back And I love, how, I love how the strength is, is a, instead of a lion, it's a, it's a giant snake. You know, I, I don't know, I feel like in today's world we have so much respect for lions, but still so much fear on snakes. Um, at least that's my point of view anyway. <laughs> so I love this, that it's a snake, especially a giant snake. It just instills more fear, but it is a strength, so it's overcoming that fear. I love that. So everything is like black and white with this spotlight. Look at this hermit, how gorgeous he is. And I love on the UV too, it's like this, this burst of light, this clarity, which really that's what the hermit is about, right? Isolation and going inwards to find clarity. But everything's pretty much black and white with these pops of color, you know, pop of gold mainly. Oh. But then we saw with the lovers, a uh, pop of Really beautiful, deep red. So he changed uh, the Wheel of Fortune to Destiny. Can you guys read that? Destiny? And I think that's a really cool and unique change. I'm open to this. <laughs> I'm not fighting it at all. I love it. Justice. And I love how a lot of these, for example, Justice to me looks very androgynous. I can't really quite tell if it's a man or a woman. And I, I'm really, I love that. I love that. Hanged man. I feel like to me anyway, like, can you guys see the UV on top? How it's all squares and the grid. To me, it's very Rider Waite Smith based, this deck. But this to me is a bit of a nod to the Thoth deck. Look at this death card. Oh my god. Can you guys see the, um, the Chinese characters on it? Yeah. This is absolutely stunning. I'm telling you guys, it's like drool worthy of this. This deck is amazing. Temperance. I, lo I love the yin yang here as the UV coated on top, but also like the the red and white ball with the red and white hands. That's so cool. Look at the devil card. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. The tower. See, the symbolism is still there. We got the eye behind the person. Can you guys see that? Which you have the eye on the Rider Waite Smith uh, deck. You have the crown. Then you have this bouquet kind of falling over and this person is just crumbling down but kind of holding this this lightning ball of energy it's so cool the star is so beautiful and sweet sorry i keep hitting the camera 
The moon, look at the moon, how beautiful that is. Sun, sunflowers and just joy. And she's like dancing. I love how they're all floating too. Judgment. I love the cloud down here. Can you guys see the cloud? How it feels like he's stepping through the clouds, like he's this gigantic angel. And I love the nod to Christianity too, like the Jesus story, because you have the crown of thorns here. And if you know the story, he was pierced on his left side. So then you have that too, like nod to that and just the angelic energy. It's so cool. And then the world. That's beautiful. You got like pretty much all the symbols here with the fish, meaning water, butterflies being the swords and air, pentacles as the globe here, how I see it anyway. Okay, so this is cool. This is the Ace of Wands, which is a quill pen and all this, this writing behind it. Two of Wands. It's so simple, but so elegant, and it makes so much sense to me. Three of Wands, just this seagull diving into the water for the fish. Four of Wands is so cool. Jump ahead a little bit, okay. Five. The elegance of this deck is like out of control. It's out of control. The six, seven, eight. This is cool. Like instead of the traditional right away where they all come parallel to each other, it's like they're coming forward. <laughs> the nine. And ten. Get these bugs carrying all these twigs. <laughs> Overbearing. Okay, so the quartz. Sorry, let me fix this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so we got the quartz as the page. The knight. Queen of Wands. And the King of Wands. Ace of Cups, look at this ace. Oh my God. <laughs> still got the dove, you still got the cup runneth over. Oh, watering these flowers, so beautiful. Whoop. Two of Cups. I love too how these cups, they look like bubbles, you know. So just fur like furthering the idea of water. Right, like they look like bubbles. <laughs> the three, celebration. Four. The five. The cracked glasses. Six. Seven. This one is cool because you got the castle, the classic. The mice, the snake, all these different. The hummingbird and the butterfly, all these different animals, all these different things which is you know very traditional but the way it's done eight this is really cute nine this is gorgeous you have wine you have grapes you have gold just plenty plentiful and ten Page of Cups, Knight. I love how the water here is turning to a sword. That is so elegant and clever. Queen, King. I gotta be honest with you guys, the Ace of Swords. This deck is so incredibly beautiful and so incredibly elegant that I, I'm so, connected to it, 
that I feel like this deck will be mine. <laughs> this deck will be like my deck that I read for myself. I'm not sure I'm going to do a lot of public readings with this deck. Look at this Two of Swords, my god. But I was going through it, and I just felt such a beautiful connection to this deck. This Five of Swords is really elegant. All the other four swords are kind of breaking down, but they're still tied up to this main one. So cool. The six. See like the people down here with the on the boats. Seven. Tearing through the veil. That's beautiful. Eight. Nine. Look at the rose petals. It's such an elegant way for a such a scary such a scary card. You know, it's such a, a dramatic card when you look at the other other decks, but the nine and the ten are still they still have their, their meaning. They still hold a lot of the traditional meaning. But it is such an elegant and beautiful way that it's been designed and created that I'm not shocked when I see it on a reading. I'm just like, okay, let's take a moment. <laughs> Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen. And King. And I love also how he kept the butterfly motif. You know, if you're familiar with the Rider Waite Smith, there's a lot of butterflies on the swords. The pentacles, we come to the ace of pentacles. I love this one, the two of pentacles, balancing act with the ferret and the, uh, almost like a nod to the monkey mind and the ferret, the energetic, uh, the very hyperactive, I mean, energy. It's so cool. Look at this three. Four of Pentacles. This five is absolutely beautiful. Talking about loss and um, lack mentality and let's say poverty, right? But look at this. Six. Seven. Fairness and the scales and eight. Hard working. <laughs> Nine. I also think that the animals that were chosen for this, look at this elephant, the ten. I think the animals that were chosen for this are very clever and just almost like perfectly chosen, at least in my mind anyway. <laughs> we got the page. The knight. Queen. King of Pentacles. And we come to the end with the Anant card. And we have this fetus coiled by a snake. The inf infinite cyclical. You know, almost like the new beginning. But also you can always look back and go in towards the end and every everything being a cycle of beginning and end of birth and rebirth and death <laughs> well and, oh i'm sorry these are the backs of the cards <laughs> this like circular constellation thing anyway guys i hope you guys enjoy this this walkthrough this overview 
Uh, this deck is incredibly beautiful. I'm very happy I got it. I uh, actually got it as a pre-order a little over a year ago. Uh, and I just have been waiting very patiently until this moment. And I'm so glad to have to share it. I'm happy and glad <laughs> to share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much.